Hey, it's Noctis. Subscribe to Vincent Valentine EX Turk channel. This is your king tonight, Vincent Valentine EX Turk, and we're going back track to Final Fantasy VII fan theory. Or should I say fan plot device, or just fan plot. Now, this is a personal question for my favorite character of all Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy 7, Vincent Valentine. What was Vincent Valentine's life, what, what was Vincent Valentine's life like, you know, being engaged to Lucretia? Because before she chose Hojo over him in order to have a science experiment, which was really set up by Hojo because... It was even confirmed, even she said it in one of her little entries, that Hojo actually threatened her. That if Lucretia wouldn't stop, if Lucretia wouldn't stop seeing Vincent and join up with him to have the experimental child known as Sephiroth a little bit later on, that Hojo would end up killing Vincent. Of course, Hojo ended up killing Vincent anyways, because Vincent was about to tell on Hojo for all the stuff he's doing because all the stuff he was doing was not restricted by the Shinra by, by the Shinra company. And I know President Shinra is an evil guy. Don't get me wrong, President Shinra was bad, but even he knows when too far is too far. And Hojo was taking human beings and experimenting on them, you know, trying to create the perfect soldier. So that's why Vincent had to tell on. On Ho, uh, Vincent had to tell on Hojo, which Hojo did not like that. So, you know, Hojo killed Vincent anyways. And as a last effort, and as a at last as a last effort, Lucretia Crescent, you know, saved Vincent by turning him into chaos. Now, the original human Vincent Valentine is dead. He's not the same Vincent Valentine you see in Final Fantasy VII. And the reason why I say that is, well, that's why in the well, that's why in the guidebook for Final Fantasy VII the original, they still call him age twenty seven, and he kind of looks like he's age twenty seven instead of fifty seven because if you really think about it, he was reborn. But Sephiroth was born too, but Sephiroth died at least, and Sephiroth died at least thirty five, so he would start out as. You know, 35, you know. It's the same thing with Vincent. You know. Supposedly, Vincent died at, you know, age 27. But th we're not going to be looking into that. We're going to be looking at what Vincent's life was like before all that stuff. The reason I'm telling all this stuff before, right here, is what... Uh, I was talking about what changed. What actually changed everything between... Lucretia and Vincent that made it like this. So without 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 further ado, you know that what happened. Vincent and Lucretia were really happy. They had the best chemistry. You know, Vincent was able to make Lucretia laugh. In fact, they were actually really the perfect couple. You know, they were inseparable kind of. Even though he was only a bodyguard, she had some deep seated feelings for Vincent. You know. In fact, that's why she locked herself up in the crystal later on in the series because she threw a pity party for Vincent, which was very funny because <laughs> Vincent threw a pity party for her by locking himself in a coffin. She ended up doing the same thing, except Lucretia got the permanent deal. So Lucretia is a permanent crystal, living crystal the rest of her, or, or the rest of et eternity, you know. But she did that because of her grief and a pity party that she threw for Vincent. Because she really loved Vincent. That's why she was really distressed when finding out that Hojo killed Vincent. And this is why I wanted to talk about this. Because I think well, what even though they were supposed to do, there was supposed to be a job. And Turks aren't supposed to fall in love with scientists. Because, you know, it messes up professionalism and businessism. And business. But, you know... At first, Lucretia didn't want to work with Vincent. Lucretia didn't want to work with Vincent because she worked with his, she worked with his fa with his father, but blamed herself for what happened to his father, which wasn't really her fault. Just a little bit of chaos cells got on 
Vincent's father, and I don't care. Yes, it's not canon anymore, so. But we're going to be talking about it anyways because it's still an important plot. The chaos experiment killed Vincent's father, and that's because he didn't get a, uh, a stronger body like Vincent did. Both Hojo and Vin uh, both Hojo and Lucretia fixed Vincent's body. Hojo only did it to try to turn him, because this is another theory too. There's actually one theory where Vincent was supposed to be a chosen soldier that Hojo wanted after he shot Vincent. So he put. He even even though he didn't put no Genova cells, he put thing he put things to make Vincent stronger, and that's why when Lucretia was took the failure experiment, she perfected it, and that's why Hojo was Hojo was even ten times more impressed at Lucretia's work because um, she actually was managed to bring Vincent back alive and even stronger and have an immortal body like he does, you know. But be, uh, but Vincent and Lucretia's life way before that was like really happy, was really good. You know, the best honeymoon fa phase you could ever get. And unfortunately, you don't see that stuff in the real world. Unfortunately, because you know things have changed. But they're like they're like the best couple ever. Like I said, even though they're not supposed to date each other, she after after starting to work with Vincent for at least a couple of weeks, Vincent was able to make her laugh. And she was really attracted to him. She was, Lucretia was extremely attracted to Vincent. In fact, that's why she got engaged. That's why, you know, even though Vincent, of course, popped out the question. Because he liked her for a long time. I think the first two weeks, they kind of had a crush on each other. And they kept, you know, sharing research, sharing things, sharing topics in the break room. You know, and all that stuff. And I think Hojo allowed that stuff for good reasons. He allowed that to happen because at this point, um, Hojo couldn't use Lucretia the way, until, until, until Hojo found out, until Hojo found out that she was an ancient, etc. You know, Hojo left both Vincent and Lucretia alone, so they were able to hook up and then get engaged. And what changed this beautiful, once beautiful relationship to a tragic story was Hojo found out that, that, um, she, she found out, uh, Hojo found out, no, Hojo found out that she, Lucretia, was an ancient, etc. And that's what made, wanted to make him impregnate, etc. to create the perfect soldier, because... My theory for that is that Vincent was supposed to be the the power, the super powerful soldier, but he was deemly he was deemed a failure due to the fact that even with the immortal body, you know, he still died. Until so Lucretia took the failure experiment, the, the Vincent's corpse and put him in inside of a inside of a tank thing, and 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 let the chaos cells take over. So. Vincent became back alive. But this love story was messed... The love story was only messed up because... Because Hojo found out that she was a Cetra. Now, how would Hojo find out she was a Cetra? And how would he find out that she was a Cetra? And I have a theory for that. Because, like I said, this will also go into... My Elfania and Lucretia being sisters. I think, you know, Elfania fearing for her life, you know, spilled the beans on it. Even though that was her older sister, she felt bad for betraying her older sister. I think she only did this to protect the, the, the to, to later on, to, to one day later on, you know, be able to live a normal life so, with Professor Gass. So she spilled the beans just for her own safety and well-being. And then Hojo's like, oh, I found out from your sister. That's why I said this is a fan theory. That you're a Cetra. So what tore this beautiful love story and turned to an ugly tragedy was Hojo found out Lucretia was a Cetra. And he was extremely interested. He, you know how he is with Cetras. He's very interested 
and Cetrus. That's why he had Sang kidnap uh, Aeris in the original Final Fantasy VII because his obsess- obsession with Cetrus is so great and massive. That's why he is the way he is. That's what made Hojo psychotic because you know, when you're too obsessed with something, it messes with your brain chemistry. But Hojo didn't see it as an obsession. He saw it as a way to create the perfect warrior for Shinra. And that's why she she had a threat to break the engagement off with Vincent and hook up with Hojo. But what Vincent does not know is Lucretia did this so Vincent wouldn't have to lose his life for a meaningless purpose. So, with all of this... Lucretia still made a sacrifice just so Vincent could live. Even though it never worked out because Hojo got mad at Vincent and out of, out of, a, out of heated rage, I mean, out of, out, out of rage, Hojo shot Vincent in the head. And, you know, worked on him, didn't, the experience didn't save him. Lucretia used the same experiment in the same formula that was used on his dad. As, and, and this time, it actually saved Vincent. Now once once now once Lucretia found out after Sephiroth was born, found out that Vincent locked himself in a coffin for tw- or at least she thought he was dead permanently at this point. She felt so bad that she per- made a permanent deal and locked herself up into crystal, which is another power which is another power a Cetra could have. And this is why this is where they probably got that idea in Final Fantasy XIII with the Lassie and the completed focus. They probably reused the same formula in Final Fantasy VII. Lucretia Crescent would be the one, the first Final Fantasy, one of the first Final Fantasy characters that could turn her, turn her, turn herself into a crystal, or crystallize herself. And that's what she did. She did a permanent deal thinking that Vincent was dead. So she felt bad for all of that. Of course, Hojo couldn't care because Hojo got what he wanted. He took the infant from Lucretia. And, you know, and you know that's all he wanted. And trained the infant to become the... the and raised the infant in a laboratory. And that infant became Sephiroth. You know... Of course, Hojo treated Sephiroth very well because, well, he fi- at this point, he finally created the perfect soldier. Because Sephiroth, at the age of at the age of sixteen, Sephiroth has became a first class soldier at the age of sixteen. So Hojo got what he wanted at the end. But unfortunately, the good guys did not win in this kind of affair. Both Vincent and Lucretia lost this battle. But soon they would win the war because Vincent would go on in Final Fantasy VII and in Dirge of Cerberus, destroying Hojo twice. You know. And being able to put a smile back on Lucretia's face at the end of Dirge of Cerberus. So, pretty much to continue the love story. Would pick up the love story would pick up during Final Fantasy VII after you get after you earn Vincent. It will start up. Vincent will see Lucretia in the Final Fantasy VII, in the original Final Fantasy VII. There's that moment, and and if the compilation was still can, which is not, it'd finish up with Dirge of Cerberus. So that's pretty much the whole tragedy. Of the Vincent and Lucretia. Can't keep my dick in my pants. Ay. My bitch don't love me no more. Ay. She kicked me out on life, bro. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah.